What's going on, fam? This is where you at, bro. Here to provide another home workout. And today, we're hitting back, shoulders, and arms. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and kick this whole thing off. Now, this is a no equipment workout, but you can add different objects to lo load up your weight. So for this one, we're doing bent over lateral raises. You can either do it with nothing in your hand or you can find some sort of weight. It can be water bottles, cans, bags, whatever you find around your home to increase the weight while you're doing it. All right, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and start it. All right, guys, so for bent over lateral raises, what you want to do is you want to make sure, guys, that you're protecting your back as much as possible. Me, I do have a little uh, back brace going on because my back is still a little injured from um, before, but it's really simple. What you want to do is, guys, is keep your core tight for back support. You want to bend your legs, shoulder width apart, bend over, and what you want to do is rest your arm out in front of you and you want to go out like this now while you're doing this you still can make this sort of difficult i want you to concentrate on flexing that back muscle and then you can do a resistance so i want you to flex that muscle in the back and then i want you to make it as tough as possible i don't know if you hear but even my uh, bones are cracking while i'm doing this i'm trying to flex this as hard as possible All right, guys, so for this one, it's a hyper extension. This is a back movement. So let's go ahead and get started. Ah. So the movement here, guys, what you want to do is you want to put your hands by your side, palms facing forward. You want to um, keep your abs tight while you're doing this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just go up. Simple as that. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, so we're moving on to arm rotations. Again, you can either ha add weight to it to make it difficult or have nothing in your hands at all. I'm going to do it with nothing in my hand just to show you how easy it is and also the format as well. All right, let's go. All right, guys, for arm rotation, what you're going to do is easy. Have your arms out wide, and you're going to go um, 12 to 15 uh, rotations forward and toward the 15 backwards. So whatever you do going forward, do the same thing backwards. So let's go.
Now, of course, while doing this, to make it even difficult is to add some sort of weight to it. So again, you can use a water bottle, use cans, Gatorade bottle, bags, something around your house that you have that you can add weight to the whole movement. And that's how it'll make it more difficult. So hopefully you like that one, all right? All right, fantastic. Now, we're moving on something called Superman's. It's another one we have to get, get your mat and lay down on the ground to do. But let's go ahead and hit that one. All right, guys, real simple. Um, all you're doing is have your hands in front of you as if you're flying like Superman, you know, and then also you're raising your legs as well. So it's just a little more difficult than one of the moves we did previously. But let's go ahead and go. All right, guys, so this next movement is called one arm reverse grip. You have two options. Either you can add weight or have no weight at all. What I'm getting ready to use is one of my chairs in order to add weight to the whole movement. All right, so let's go ahead and hit it. All right, so I have my, uh, my chair. What I'm doing is, again, the reverse grip is with your palms facing downward. I'm gripping this uh, chair, turn around to make it uh, easier grip. And again, if you want to try to flex that muscle, while you're doing the move. So here we go, so flex, let's go. All right, let's switch it up. All right, guys, good job hitting that last arm movement. Now, the next one we're doing is arm curls. Now, options again, either add weight or no weight. Now, one of the um, previous videos that I created, I told you guys that you can use your opposite hand to create resistance for the working arm. And it's very simple, which I'm going to show you in this movement now, all right? All right, guys, like I said, you can either do it with weight or with no weight. To, if you want to use your opposite hand to create a resistance with your working arm, it's very simple. One thing you need to make sure you're doing is you're flexing that muscle, your bicep. And what you're going to do is as you're pushing upward, have your opposite hand pushing down. So pretty much you're getting a tricep workout on this arm and you're getting a bicep one on this one. So your hands together and it's very simple it may sound silly but if you flex the entire time and you make it difficult you will get a good burn so it's simple like this one's pushing up the other one's pushing down very simple that's one way now with the chair 
Very simple. Flex that muscle. Let's go. Switch it up. Well, there you have it, guys. We just completed back, shoulders, and arms with no equipment. Hopefully, you enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, give your boy a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and share the video with somebody else. As always, this is where you at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you on the next workout.